Oh yeah, I mean that was uh, that was a heck of a ball game. You know, it was a change of emotions about ten times, and um, yeah, that's when I woke up this morning. You know, my wife called me and told me happy birthday, and she said uh, my son and her are down in um, Florida at the perfect game and the Under Armour tournament, and she says, well, you know, what do you really want for your birthday? And I said, same thing, I want every birthday, a victory. And especially today, getaway day against the Cubs, and uh, uh, that was a heck of a birthday uh, present because I think, I think I've lost like 10 years in a row on my birthday. You can look it up, but it's not very, you know, good record on my birthday. And so, uh, man, that was a heck of a birthday present. One of the best birthdays that I've ever had. Well, I mean, they showed show me that they don't quit, and that you know, an adverse you know event you know doesn't take away you know their spirit, and uh, you know kept fighting and fighting, and you know we made moves, they made moves, they came through, um, and uh, you know uh, after that home run we could have been deflated, um, but you know we're we're uh, you know without Pap you know we're kind of. You know, bullpen, got, you know, by committee, and uh, you know, we were trying to get one out with with Belisle and go to, you know, Perez, and then, then if we had to after that, um, you know, go to uh, Kelly, and uh, you know, it really, you know, didn't work because the last thing we expected was for him to hit a home run off of off of Perez, because you know, Perez, he hit one home run off of him, but you know, he's handled him pretty good. And, uh, you know, we didn't walk, um, uh, you know, we didn't walk, uh, you know, the shortstop, you know, yeah, Russell, you know, because if Fedorovich doesn't hit into a double play, you know, we still got to face Zobers, who's been a pain in our, in our side, you know what I mean? And so we're hoping that, you know, and, and, and Young's got to pitch up and out over the plate, you know, where he didn't want to throw it. And uh, he hit it in the center field. So they got some clutch hits. We got some clutch hits. And that was a clutch stolen base by, you know, by Danny after getting hit by the, you know, by the pitch. And then Michael Taylor got a big, you know, base hit. And I was trying to decide who we were going to take out, um, you know, the game, you know. Uh, and, you know, decide, hey, man, I wasn't going to take Jason out because late in the game, this guy, he's a clutch man. And uh, so... Um, things worked out for us. What was the explanation you got from the home plate help for, for Jack Daniels? Well, uh, you know, he didn't say anything, and he said he looked like he was going to throw the bat at him. And uh, and he says he, he wasn't going to take that. And I said, man, he wasn't going to throw the bat at you. And he said, but he looked like it. And so maybe, you know, maybe he's a mind reader. Uh, so, I, I mean, Anthony wasn't going to throw the bat at him. Come on, man. Uh, and that's the explanation you know, that I got from him. Well, uh, you know, Loby catches ground balls at, at shortstop every every day. So, you know, I didn't want to tear up my whole infield. I thought about Zim at, at third, but he hadn't played, thrown across the diamond in a while. And, uh, you know, Ramos thought about t putting him at first and Loby at, you know, behind the plate. And I said, well, we're we just going to have one guy out of position. And, uh, you know, we were going to put Loby at third base. What did you learn about Morton? Well, I mean, you know, the guy's a, you know, he's a clutch man. He's, you know, he's a big, you know, big game guy. He's been that since he's been here. And, uh, you know, um, that's what I learned about, you know, Jason. You know, he wants to be in that, in that situation. And uh, every time he comes through, that makes it, easier in his mind and our mind for him to come through, you know, in the future. And that's why I didn't take him out of the game. Uh, that's why I didn't take him or I didn't run for Ramos because I figured they were going to, you know, the way that game was going, you know, and uh, I saved Heisey. Um, uh, you know, I could have hit him for, um, uh, for you know, Big Robinson but I, but I, against Wood. But I said, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, you know, because Robbie's, you know, pretty good against everybody and I'd have been out of men. 
uh, at, at that point in time. So, you know, we saved, you know, the right guys and things worked. When you were in baseball last year, what did you do for your first touchdown? Uh, I don't know. I think I was in, I think I was in Canada fishing. This beats, huh? Is this better? Canada's pretty nice, though. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I think that was the two teams might end up facing each other. Yeah. They might not. One thing it didn't have was Jake Arietta or John Lester. Mm-hmm. How does that fact impact what you're taking away from the series victory? Nothing. You know, I mean, you know, your rotation is what it is. And if we got to face those guys, I mean, you still got to beat the best to get to the World Series and win it. And uh, so it doesn't take anything away from, from, you know, what we accomplished these three days here. Yeah, and Stephen Drew, uh, you know, I mean, this guy, I mean, it's, it happened so long ago that, that it seemed like it was yesterday, but Stephen Drew's come through with some big hits. And that's what we were told, you know, because I, I wasn't here when they, you know, when they signed him yet. And, uh, uh, you know, Mike Rizzo knows him. Uh, he had him in Arizona. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's come through with some, you know, big, big hits for us. Huge hits. No, it's pretty slow for me. I try to slow things down. You know, you slow things down. You don't try not to get caught up in the emotion of what's going on. That's why I wasn't real, real happy. You know, when Drew hit the home run, you know, I got to think about, uh, you know, what's coming, you know, like who I'm going to use. Uh, you know, who I'm going to save, uh, you know, you think about who the matchup the next inning, uh, you know, so, um, you know, the games, you know, since I was a player, it's been, you know, kind of slow in, in my in my mind because I remember talking to Sada Hada O and he says, you have to have, you know, the presence of years ago. And he says, you have to have the, and from being a clutch man, you think about, you know, you have to. Your heart's beating fast, but your mind has to be has to be slow to control. You know, your heart because your heart can get you in trouble. And um, you know, that's that's you got to have the presence of mind to control your your emotions and your heart. Okay. I was sweating. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs>